In this video, I'll show you how to do everything with your private key in Trust Wallet. Trust Wallet actually don't give us the private key to our wallets. They give us the seed phrase, which lets us do everything that we want to do. For example, saving it or exporting it or reloading it somewhere else. So how do we find the seed phrase or the private key? Go up to the top, click your wallet name, and then right here, you should see a list of your wallets. If you don't see this and you have the older design, go out to the main page and the top left, there's a settings icon. Click the settings icon, then you should see your wallet and the name. Click on that, it's gonna give you a list of your wallets that looks exactly like this. So just get to this page where it says your wallet or your different list of wallets. And then on the right hand side, click the three dots. And this is how we actually get our seed phrase back up. If you want to back up or export your wallet from Trust Wallet, this is how we do it. They're not gonna give us a private key. They're gonna turn the private key into a list of 12 to 24 human readable words. It's an easier way to deal with the private key. And we can use the seed phrase to reload the wallet in any other device or any other wallet. So the first thing you can do is press the cloud backup. If you just wanna save your uh, seed phrase, you can do that in your cloud account, either iCloud or Google Cloud. However, your seed phrase is backed up digitally in the cloud and that could have some hacking risk. Very unlikely, but it is possible. So if you want to back this up manually, it's gonna just show you the 12 to 24 words of your wallet. So I'm gonna press manual and where it says active on the right hand side, then it's gonna tell me the words we're about to show you are your wallet. Anyone that has them has access to your wallet because if they know the words, they can reload this wallet on any other device. So this is how you essentially export your wallet. So I'm gonna click this and for me, it's gonna show me the words. For you, you can't see them. There's 12 words here. And if you write these down, you can use these words to reload this wallet on any other device or any other wallet app. When you create a wallet, it's going to say, do you want to recover a wallet with a seed phrase? This is the seed phrase. So you can back up this trust wallet and you can use it on any other device just via these words. So this seed phrase is essentially the way that you reload this wallet anywhere else. You don't need the private key because modern wallets will use a seed phrase, which is linked to the private key. It's a lot easier to handle. So these 12 words are your wallet you can write them down somewhere safe and you can reload this wallet anywhere else with these 12 words. If anyone else has these 12 words, they also have access to your wallet. So be super careful about storing and saving them. If you're looking for your private key because you want to load this wallet somewhere else, all modern wallets now have the seed phrase option. So that's the thing that you need in order to restore this somewhere else. For example, if I go to the top here where it says main wallet again, down at the bottom, press add wallet. I'm gonna say add existing wallet. And then from here it says, how do you want to recover this wallet? There is an option for private key. So if you have the private key, you can reload it. We didn't get this from Trust Wallet. They won't give it to us. They just give us the secret phrase or the seed phrase. So I can click secret phrase and it says, do you have the actual 12 words? Go and put them in here. I can reload a multi-coin wallet. And it says, what are the 12 words? So of course this wallet, I'm not gonna reload, it's already loaded. But if you have those 12 words, you can just simply load them in any other wallet just like that. If you need more help with Trust Wallet, there's a huge playlist on the channel, which I'll link down in the description, alongside some deposit and trading bonuses on the crypto exchanges I use. I'm James, it's MoneyDG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.